All right, everyone, Ian here with Scotch on the Rocks. And today we're keeping in line with first aid February. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate an injury. Okay, I'm injured right here. And I'm going to have my lovely assistant go ahead and apply a tourniquet. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that it is big enough to fit around the wound, right? Fit it, fit around the limb that we're doing. So what she's doing is she's tightening it up, tightening it up. And this is going to be painful. Okay, this is going to be really painful. So we want it to be as tight as we possibly can. We're going to wrap it. There you go. Wrap it. There it is. Yep. Wrap. You're going to start to lose all sensation in your, in your arm. And that's, that's the way it should be. Okay. Go ahead and tighten off. That should be good. Okay. Good. That's it. No. Okay. Well, we're never going to get it off. All right. So now it's stuck on there really good. Let's go ahead and check my Fitbit. My pulse rate, I'll actually be able to tell you. Okay. So I don't have a pulse. So what we need to remember is that we're going to keep tightening this until the bright red blood stops. Okay, that's what an arterial bleed. Or it could even be a venous bleed. It could be slow oozing blood, but it just won't stop. But we need to make sure that we're completely cutting it off. And that's the best way to tell. So any minute now, my Fitbit is going to flip out and tell me, hey, man, you're having a heart attack. Yep, and it's already starting to, yep, it's already starting to go down, like going from 100 all the way down to probably zero. Up oh, there it goes. All right. So I'm starting to feel, I'll kind of explain to you what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is I can feel tingling in my fingers and my, I can feel that my pulse right here is completely stopped. 94. Yep. I can already, so you'll feel it in your exterior fingers first. It'll be these two fingers first. And this is incredibly painful. Like I really just want to rip this off. That's where we're at with this. But if, like I said, we're going to, yeah, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing there. So I'm just going to help this Fitbit along because I really don't want this on me anymore. This is super painful. There we go. It's slowly dropping. It'll, it'll end up, the last time I did this, it told me that I was having a heart attack. It's just decided not to work right with me for, for today, but that's fine. We're going to pull this thing off because, like I said, I'm starting to get completely numb everywhere. So go ahead and pull that off. All right, Whew. and look, look at that, purple. look how purple I am. That was done correctly. All right, so we're gonna do the next one while this arm's already messed up. <laughs> so again, we're simulating another injury. This is gonna be, so that was a rat's tourniquet. This is gonna be a cat tourniquet. This is the one that I was talking about that I really, really like. Now this needs to be right above. Yep, your right arm, above. Right? Yep, right okay. above it. We'll undo this. Make sure that the spindle is free. Okay. Okay. Now go ahead and tighten that down as, as tight as you can. Okay. Yep. There you go. Now what do I do with this end? Now with this right now, what you're going to do is you're just going to there. Usually there's a spot to to wrap it back around, but there's none on this. So we just want to make sure that it's come down all the way. Just wrench down on as hard as you can. Uh -huh. There you go. And now start, spin, just leave that be. Oh, and it's secure like yep, that. Yep, it's secure okay. like that. Go okay. ahead and start tightening the spindle. Yep, there we go. It's already starting to hurt. Oh, this is terrible. Yep, okay, keep going. Okay, stop. Uh, one more half turn. Yep. And we'll get her stuck. Ah, okay. Oh, All right, back it up, back it up, back it up. We're just going to simulate it because it's incredibly painful. Yeah. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to be. It's locked in just like this, okay? It's not going anywhere. The spindle's, spindle's tight. Well, it's not, it, it is tight. It's tight enough that I can start to feel tingling in my fingers. Again, this is just for training purposes. So one of the other things that I want to show you is go ahead and get a Sharpie. And I want you to mark that you gave me a tourniquet and the time that you gave me a tourniquet. So that's one of the things that we have to remember. Whenever we're doing tourniquet work, we have to remember the date and the time of when it happened. And if possible, there are even situations where you'd have to tell them, hey, it's, it's the right arm that's, that I put a tourniquet on. Because again, so, yep, right up there. Perfect. Perfect. See, clearly marked. Everybody can see it. There's no question. So, what, before I start losing all the blood in my hand here, we're going to go ahead and take this off. All right. So you're going to have to undo the little loopy thing there.
And again, they, they, they've changed it from two inches above the injury to the whole arm to whatever the case, to, you know, the, the joint nearest. I always just go the joint nearest. So let, obviously we were simulating here. Just go ahead and put it right here, right? We want to, yeah. So that it's incredibly painful, but it'll, it'll save your life. And I've had it done multiple times on me as far as training and it never gets any easier. Again, thank you guys for watching this one. I know it was kind of short, kind of impromptu, but I appreciate your viewer. I appreciate you viewing. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks, guys.